I don't know what I'm gonna get out of this log but it's got a natural curve to it so I don't know what the measurement is but that's where I'm gonna cut it right about right in here where that rot spot is so we'll just end up cutting that out that'll give me a good indication anyways what it looks like inside jackpot or anything like that with it but oh we got some wood in there let's we'll see what happens i'll take a couple deep cuts into it i don't know by the way the blade's cutting i'm sure i got some stuff in that that check on there doesn't look like it goes in too deep <coughs> oh, excuse me you see what the water was getting in that check but i mean it's for the most part solid so we definitely got a good heartwood there you know, if I cut it into one by, there's probably, what, maybe 10, 10 boards? <coughs> maybe 10 boards, they're 8 inches wide or something like that. Really hard, hard to say. You know, if you get down here, this is all flared out and kind of messed up. But I'll cut the ends off if they're bad, but we'll at least get probably... Maybe a seven footer out of there. I think so. I think it's worth cutting, at least trying. So that'll be on the next video. Whoa. Check that out.
Dark, dark red. And that's a beautiful color on that log right there. There's better lumber in that thing than I thought was going to be in it, which I'm very thankful for. Let's go ahead and make uh, one more cut. Now we get one more cut on this side. Take a chance. Good on a blade. This stuff's super dry. Super dry. Be interested to see with the beautiful dark, dark cherry. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful. I got to get my shorts in when I can. Look at that. Beautiful old dark, dark cherry. Almost blood red. Beautiful stuff. Can't wait to get my moisture meter to see how dry this actually is inside. Other than the piece I soaked with water, <laughs> it feels really super dry. This log's probably been down for 20 years. my can hooks back. <laughs> They're done using them. So I'm going to roll over now. now. This side's got a pretty good pretty good check in it so we'll see. We'll see what comes out of that. It's got about According to this, about an inch down, so 
Let an inch check. We're gonna have to move this around a little bit here. Forward. This thing doesn't work. I've replaced that switch so many times. It just doesn't last. Sometimes I can clean it out, clean the contacts on it, and that'll fix it. Alright, that looks about the lowest spot. And I want to go an inch below that. Whoa, go down to six inches. Put a six and a quarter. <laughs> dry enough to make some good kindling already <laughs> yeah I'd say it's a little a little too soft there other side was pretty good it's probably just gonna have to get down a little further get down the side into something a little better but uh, I got a little nub here that's uh causing an issue so well, let's go ahead and flip it back over now that I got a flat spot anyways uh, we'll just keep cutting it this way until we run out of good wood this through I'm gonna run this through that spiral head planer we'll see what this is gonna look like it's almost got like a purplish scent to it it's definitely a lot darker than most of our cherries here Good looking stuff. Now that's that little piece. Let's see if I can get this bigger piece to run through it.
isn't that pretty? It's got a check in it. Of course, it could glue it. I just wanted to try this with the planer. I said it's got a lot of like a purplish color to it. A lot different than the rest of the cherry that we have here. I think that's pretty neat. Let me uh, let me try this little wider piece here. planers down there and make this thing uh, three grand almost for this planer and I got a $700 planer at the house that turns circles around it um, but man you can see that color I mean it's kind of weird for cherry it's a lot of a lot of mineral in that I guess it's just from drying over many many years it uh, really changed the color that's some deep color in there that's for sure like that look at that man i like that i think there's going to be some nice wood come out of this piece here you know that'd make a nice charcuterie board you got to clean up the edges but it's still firm it's still pretty solid take a wire wheel to that make some nice pieces <laughs> 